features show stiffness. When you say stiffness, it means incline. In a linear equation, it has also stiffness. It is called the slope of the line. When you say slope, it is denoted by a small letter M. It is the ratio of the vertical change between the two points to the horizontal change between the same two points. When we say vertical change, in the Cartesian plane, vertical change is found in the y-axis. So it means changes in y or the rise. And then when we say horizontal change, in a Cartesian plane, horizontal change is found in the x-axis. So horizontal change is the changes in x or the run. Meaning slope is equal to the changes in y over the changes in x or the rise over run. Now let us find the slope using the graph. In a Cartesian plane, you can plot two points to make a line. The graph of a linear equation is a straight line. The positive on the right side Negative on the left side, positive upward, negative downward. When you go in the right and up, your answer is positive. While when you go down and left, your answer is negative. So you start any of the point. So we will start at the bottom. And then you start counting when you move. Since we start with this point, and then we will just count after we move. So we have one. 2, 3, 4. Meaning our rise is positive 4 because we go upward. And then you will start on the same point and then you count 1 when your point moves. So we have 1 until you reach the other point 2. So our run is 2. So we have 4 over 2. When we divide it, we will get 2. So our slope is positive 2. Meaning this graph is increasing or positive slope. Another example. We will still use this as a guide. And then we will start on this point. And then we will count rise to go to the another point. So we have positive 1, 2, 3. So we have rise, positive 3, and then we will count the run to the left. So since we are going to the left, it will become negative. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. So our run is negative 6. When we simplify 3 over negative 6, both numbers can be divided by 3. So our final answer is... 1 over negative 2 or negative 1 half. This graph is decreasing or has negative slope. Let's have the next one. So we have horizontal line. Let us start with this point. Does the graph rise? No, it is not. So meaning our rise is 0. And then let us count our run going to the right. So we have, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 0 over 5. Can we divide 0 by 5? Yes, we can. So the answer is 0. This graph has 0 slope. How about this one? We have vertical line. So we will start on this point. So we will go downward. So that is negative. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6 and then and then the graph doesn't go either left or right so our run is 0 can we still simplify negative 6 over 0 no we cannot so the answer here is undefined meaning this graph has undefined slope next let us find slope using the formula if there is no given graph or there is no given equation and you have two points you can still solve the slope of the line so we have point a 5 1 point b 7 9 so we will use the formula m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so we will let a as the sub 1 so we have x sub 1 
y sub 1 b as the sub 2 we have x sub 2 y sub 2 and then we will just substitute y sub 2 is 9 minus y sub 1 is 1 over x sub 2 is 7 minus x sub 1 is 5 and then we will just simplify 9 minus 1 that is 8 over 7 minus 5 that is 2 8 divided by 2 that is 4 so the slope of these two points is 4 it is positive slope meaning it is increasing we have 3 and 4 and 5 1 so we will write the formula the first point will be the sub 1 x sub 1 y sub 1 remember the first number is always x and we have x sub 2 y sub 2 substitute y sub 2 is 1 minus y sub 1 is 4 over x sub 2 is 5 minus x sub 1 is 3 1 minus 4 unlike sign minus copy the sign of the bigger number so we have negative 3 over 5 minus 3 that is 2 so our slope here is negative 3 over 2 it is negative it has decreasing slope we have 2 and negative 3 and the other point is 5 and negative 3 so using the formula we will let the first point as sub 1 we have x sub 1 y sub 1 the second point are x sub 2 y sub 2 the pairs should be correct we will substitute the values y sub 2 is negative 3 minus y sub 1 negative 3 x sub 2 is 5 minus x sub 1 is 2 and then we will have negative 3 negative times negative that will become positive 3 over 5 minus 2 that is 3 3 negative 3 plus 3 that is 0 over 3 if we divide 0 and 3 the answer is 0 meaning it has 0 slope or the line is horizontal 4 and 8 4 and negative 5 we will use the formula the first coordinates are the sub 1 the second coordinates are the sub 2 substitute y sub 2 is negative 5 minus 8 y sub 1 over x sub 2 is 4 minus x sub 1 is 4 so we have negative 5 minus 8 same sign add that is 13 copy their sign negative 4 minus 4 is 0 meaning we cannot divide this one because 0 is the denominator so it has undefined slope or the line is vertical how about finding the slope using the equation? Remember, we have the standard form of the line AX plus BY equals C. So we will use the values of A and B in here. So we have M is equal to negative A over B. So you will just find the value of A and B and substitute it in the formula. So we have X plus 2Y equals 5. Our standard form is AX plus BY equals C. So our A is 1, our B is 2. So we will substitute in the given formula, M is equal to negative A over B. So this will become A is 1 and then B is 2. We have negative in A, so we have slope negative 1 half. How about this one? We have negative 2X plus 6Y equals 8. Our standard form is like this. We have A, negative 2, B, 6. Using this formula, we will just substitute A and B. So we have negative times negative 2 over 6 our B. So you will multiply negative times negative 2. That will become positive 2. And then you copy over 6. And then we will simplify this one by dividing both by 2. So our final answer is one third. Next, we have 10x plus 5y equals 15. Using the standard form, we have a is equal to 10, b is equal to 5. Using this formula, we will just substitute. Remember, we have negative in a, so a will become negative 10, and then b is 5. So we will have negative 10 over 5. We can divide them, so our final answer is negative 2.